There was a drone attack on the city of Kaspiysk in the Russian Republic of Dagestan. Local telegram channels reported this. This is the first drone attack on Dagestan since the start of the war. Ukrainian A-22 aircraft type kamikaze drone struck the port in the city. As a result, an explosion occurred in the area. There is no information about the casualties. Footage distributed on telegram channels shows one of the drones being shot down. It should be noted that the city of Kaspiysk is located 1,500 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. Three flights were delayed at Makhachkala airport due to the drone attack. Pleasant. The Ukrainian army is under threat of encirclement in the district of Kurakovo in the Donetsk region, Build analyst Julian Ropk reports. Russian troops advance to the Kurakovo reservoir from the northeast and southwest, capturing the village of Maximovka. Due to the lack of reserves and defensive lines, the Ukrainian armed forces may fall into a trap and, probably, will be forced to retreat from 20 populated areas to the southeast of Andrivka, Ropk writes. Irlower he noted that in early October, Russian troops broke through from Mariinka and reached the shores of the Kurakovsko Reservoir, and captured the city of Ukrainsk to the north. According to Ropk, a semi-cauldron with the center in Kurakovka formed between these two directions, which the Russian armed forces have now completely captured. According to him, in two weeks the Russians occupied six villages and 50 square kilometers of territory in this area. Ropk also noted that at the same time the Russian army is approaching the Kurakovka Reservoir from the southwest, from near Volodar, where it captured five villages and about 200 square kilometers of territory in two weeks. The front line is currently near the village of Maximovka, 15 kilometers from the reservoir and the city of Kurakovo. In the southeastern direction, the village of Katerinovka, 12 kilometers from Kurakovo, has been taken, summed up Repki. In a report published on November 1st, analysts from the U.S. Institute for the Study of War reported that in the Kurakovo direction, the Russians had advanced to the southwestern administrative borders of the village of Kurakovka, northeast of Kurakovo and had likely captured the settlement. At the same time, ASW noted that Ukrainian forces had recently regained positions in the wooded area southwest of Pobeda and southeast of Kurakovo. According to analysts, the Russians have also advanced near Maximilianivka, Novoselodivka, Maximivka, and Vovchenka in Donetsk region, as well as near Verbov in Zaporizhia region. Russian occupation forces have occupied the village of Stepanovka in the Kramatorsk district of Donetsk region. In addition, tactical advancement of the enemy is observed in the village of Kolesnikovka in the Kharkov region and in the areas of Kremenea Baka in the Donetsk region. Russian forces have also managed to regain their position near Sheptakivka in Kursk region. A Russian rocket blasted off successfully on Tuesday to carry a pair of Iranian satellites into orbit, a launch that reflected growing cooperation between Moscow and Tehran. The Soyuz rocket lifted off as scheduled from Vostokny launch pad in far eastern Russia and put its payload into a designated orbit nine minutes after the launch. It was carrying two Russian ionosphere M Earth observation satellites and several dozen smaller satellites, including the two Iranian ones. Iran's two satellites, named Khauzar and Hadhad, were the first launched on behalf of the country's private sector. In 2022, a Russian rocket launched an Iranian Earth observation satellite called Kayam that was built in Russia on Tehran's order, 
and in February Russia put another Iranian satellite named PARS-1 into orbit. Tuesday's launch comes as Russia and Iran have expanded ties in various spheres. Ukraine and the West have accused Tehran of providing Moscow with hundreds of exploding drones for use on the battlefield in Ukraine and helped launch their production in Russia. The Iranian drone deliveries, which Moscow and Tehran have denied, have allowed for a constant barrage of long-range drone strikes at Ukraine's infrastructure. Moscow and Tehran are planning to further bolster their ties with a comprehensive strategic partnership that is set to be signed during Iranian President Masoud Pazeshkian's planned visit to Russia. The date for that visit hasn't been set yet, but the Kremlin said it could happen soon. Tuesday's successful launch of the Iranian satellites atop a Russian rocket follows a series of failed launches suffered by Iran's civilian space program in recent years. There have been five failed launches in a row for the Simorg program, a satellite-carrying rocket. A fire at the Imam Khomeini spaceport in February 2019 killed three researchers, authorities said at the time. A launch pad rocket explosion later that year drew the attention of then-President Donald Trump, who taunted Iran with a tweet showing what appeared to be a U.S. surveillance photo of the site. At the same time, a separate Iranian space program run by the country's paramilitary Revolutionary Guard has seen successful launches from a military base outside of Sharoud, some 350 kilometers east of the capital, Tehran. However, satellite images analyzed by the Associated Press show Israel likely bombed the site during its October 26 retaliatory strike on Iran. The U.S. intelligence community's worldwide threat assessment this year said Iran's development of satellite launch vehicles would shorten the timeline for Iran to develop an intercontinental ballistic missile because it uses similar technology. Прошел контакт подъема. Двигатели центрального и боковых блоков вышли на режим главной ступени. 10 секунд. Параметры системы управления ракетоносителя в норме. 20 секунд. Двигатели первой и второй ступени работают нормально. Стабилизация изделия устойчивая. Пятьдесят секунд. Давление в камерах сгорания двигателей ракеты-носителя в норме. Шестьдесят секунд. Полет нормальный. Семьдесят секунд. Параметры системы управления ракетоносителя в норме. Восемьдесят секунд. Стабилизация изделия устойчивая. Девяносто секунд. Двигатели первой и второй ступени работают нормально. 100 секунд. Параметры конструкции ракеты-носителя в норме. 110 секунд. Тангаж. Рысканье. Вращение в норме.